welcome back. We are the Schoolhouse 302. This is our hashtag read this series where we're always bringing you the best books that are the most important books to have on your shelf for leadership. This month we've been all about positivity as a leader. A uh, great piece on the Schoolhouse 302 about raps, routine acts of positivity. You got to read it, instilling positive uh, uh, culture in your organization, in your school, wherever you work. Um, tonight we're going to feature three books. All of our books tonight are by John Gordon. John Gordon is a great writer. He's got tons of great books on a number of leadership topics, positivity being one of them. We're going to feature three books tonight by John Gordon. His work is awesome, mostly parable work, but a lot of stuff that you can take and put into action right away. Our first book tonight that we're featuring is called The Positive Dog. Awesome book. Check it out. Easy to read. Anybody can pick this up and put these principles into practice. But here's what I want to say about it. The Positive Dog is this simple. Which dog are you going to feed? Because we both have a positive, we all have a positive dog and a negative dog inside of us. And if you want to, to unleash the power of positivity, you have to feed your positive dog and not your negative dog. And so we're featuring The Positive Dog by John Gordon. Check it out, get on your shelf, make sure you read it. Joe, what's our second selection? You know, and before I get into that, um, I, just, I just need to take one second. Um, we don't live that far away from our studio and it took me literally um, 45 minutes, nine miles, 45 minutes. And quite frankly, um, I'm a little upset. And I just, I, I, I'm not really in the mood to do this. And I'm, I'm just a little what, what, not, what, I'm not. What are you doing, dude? Well, this is a, the whole show is about positivity and you're like taking it down this road here with. And, and well, it's tough to be positive. I'm, and, I'm a little upset. Can you just, can well, we, what's you know, in your hand there? You're absolutely right. Our second book is The No Complaining Rule. Again, this is written just like a story. It's a fantastic book. And sometimes we complain. We don't even realize we're complaining. It's subtle complaints, but they inf infiltrate our mind. And next thing you know, they've overtaken us. And we're no longer positive. We're no longer focused. And we're no longer working at our highest levels. Um, don't uh, forget to read this book. And really, this story dives into um, a woman who is just going through a huge ordeal that's a part of a company that needs her at her best, and she's not ready to be there. Uh, and she, she's about, she thinks she's about to battle cancer. Um, she's she Ultimately, um, that ends up being okay. Um, but through that experience, she learns the no complaining rule, and that's simply it. Don't complain. That's awesome. Each week we feature what we call a Mac Daddy on our topic. Again, we're talking about positivity. John Gordon, again, the power of positive leadership. We're always about leadership, helping people to lead better and grow faster. This book is the Mac Daddy because it really talks about the principles of positivity and how you can put them into action right away. We recommend it. It's really important for leaders to remain positive. The entire culture uh, uh, changes when leaders are positive on a regular basis. And we really like this subtitle, How and Why Positive Leaders Transform Teams and Organizations to Change the World. Because that's what we think that leaders do, is change the world. The other thing we wanted to say before we close is that we always offer a tip for reading. And if you'll notice that Joe has here a sticky note on the inside of his book. We keep them around because we think it's great to, to just mark the places that you need to go back to. You might not reread a, a, a book, although we, we have gone back and reread some of the greats, the ones that we feature, but it is a, a great point to put a, a, a sticky note in your book and go back to some, some certain segments, certain passages that inspired you when you read it the first time, that can inspire you again when you need that power of positivity, like we've said with John Gordon. Thank you for tuning in to our hashtag read this. Remember that if you want to be positive, the first step is just deciding that today I'm going to be positive. The reason you read the books 
is to have a good friend by your side to remind you sometimes just how to be positive and carry you along the way in those moments that you're not as positive as you should be. And that's what's great about these books, the way they're written, the ease in which you can read them, but ultimately you'll plow through those books and you will be a more positive leader, a more positive person, and make a bigger impact in your family life, in your workplace, and to all of those around you. Please follow us at the schoolhouse302.com. Thank you for tuning in.